Same thing. Do we still have that there? That tells me that the wrist is here. And the wrist. Let's do that again. Where's the side here? I'm just grabbing the wrist-ish. Maybe I should have done that the other the other hand. Let's see how far off. Oh yeah, geez, I can take off a little bit more. No, excuse me. So if it's going to be here, and the thumb's coming out, here, the pinky's coming out. Here it's more sharper with the pinky than with the thumb, but... And then... And then... I'm going to do this again while I have the measurement or is it to something else uh, now I got a cat playing with my hand here I'm thinking it's snack time is why she's Getting my attention. I don't know, is this the same with, you know, I, hear, I see others in their videos, and then there's their bark, 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 there's their dog bark. And so, this is kind of the, my response to those who's got dogs that are barking in the background. Oh, we saw a rabbit. And, yeah, she pesters when it's when she wants something, and that's the thing about cats. They want nothing from you unless it's something that they want at that time. And they'll let you know how wrong you are. See how look at this. See, she's telling me how wrong I am to be carving. And giving me that imperious look like I I am wronging her. She's mad because I'm wronging her. Okay, let's get going on the hand. Now the hand I got uh, my other screen up too to make sure I got what I want on the hand. So here's here's another artist's version. This is I took this from the top of I collect all kinds of uh, characters. i will be talking about the head later, but yeah, she's got a lot of muscle in her in her um, wrist there, and not so much daintiness. And this thing, this is more turning. But because if we look at our own hands, now hers is just kind of. I want to say relaxed and that's why it's going to come out more this one here I think I don't have as much wood for it to be totally relaxed so I want this but I do want the thumb let's start with this now the thumb is sort of when it's a relax it's the thumb may be out or maybe underneath same with the other here. This will be the more relaxed. This hand will come here. This thumb will be here. And, and the index is up and then comes down like this. Now what I'd like to do, usually, especially when it comes to Santas, take a look and which one is the smallest of the two, clean it as best as I can, and then get to the bigger one and make it the same. You can't really do that the other way around. I think this one here, and this one's easier because it's got kind of the 
oven mitts that are flat, but I think we'll, we'll still bend it a little bit. And I think the way we can bend it is if we, oops, take a little more off. That was, that was rolled on its own. I got another example of a, of a head. I will show you later when I do the heads. Now I got the cat curious. Is that alive? What did it do? Now I want to be careful coming down here and not so as not to take too much off. And I'm not sure. I'm going to go right here. We get a little extra, about an eighth of an inch than what I've drawn. And of course, this needs to be cleaned. You gotta be careful I didn't get too far down. All right, because the thumb is going to be going out. It's unfortunately, this is not a, uh, a larger hand that I can, that I can, uh, you know, close up. When I get too close, it's gonna, I mean, I can't get in there. So I hope, well, all right, I'll do a zoom in. But again, the thing I don't like about zooming in is what if I'm off? What if I'm, I'm carving over here? You see that? Just a little V here to kind of separate the thumb. Now the thumb is going to be more of this bend here. I think she's just got a good bend. And it is a little lower than the rest of the hand. So I'm going to kind of leave that thumb alone for right now. We're just run, other than rounding the tip a little more, a little more. Oh, see, I'm already I'm off. Because if I lift it up, even if I lift it up, it's not going to be. Well, let's widen it up again here. Just a little bit. All right. See, now what I did was I lowered the thumb a little bit from the other fingers. And I put this little divot in here. Now, it's going to be a strong from here. It's going to be so what I've been lacking in some of mine is giving that extra push for the thumb, thumb to wrist. And again, there'll be more detailing later and fixing and cleaning and but I mean, we're on the right track on everything. And I think it could be a little thinner. Now I want to do, say the planes a little bit of, around this a little bit here. There. Now I want to make this relax, so it's got to be like, like, like this is the middle. I might have to twist it a little bit. That's, that's the best way to do it. But if it's going to, if I have to twist, turn it a little bit, then so be it. I'm going to have to. Take their four even places, get the V tool on there. Just a little bit, don't go too deep. It's kind of more like you're kind of sort of taking the, the um, pencil marks off. Now, same here, we're just going to do a little deeper because if you go too deep, 10 degree from the center. If you go too deep, 
and you may snap a finger off. I'm taking careful the tip. There we go. All right, we're getting there. Now let's shrink. Oh, geez, I'm off again. All right, if I if you missed it, I took the sharp tip of my knife and just widened that a little bit. I'm going to straighten out the index a little bit. Now I'm going to take this off of the pinky, make the pinky a little smaller. Now we're not going to use the measuring device because it's going to be a little difficult to get there. You could if you want. All right. Now when the hand is relaxed like this, you can see that the pinky goes down past. And that's why some people might want to do the planes before they put the finger in, but I, I, I kind of feel easier putting the finger in first. Oops. I hate that scrape. Same with the middle finger, just a little bit. Same with the index finger. Blasted, I'm off again. I'm just going to, have to keep it a little wider. That's the thing. See, that's what I did was I shrunk, not shrunk, I bent the hand, the fingers down a little bit so it's more relaxed. And now there's more uh, getting the knuckles, a little twist here, a little twist here. To get the knuckles, get this carefully, don't take the tip off. Come back here. And rounding the fingers a little more is what you're doing. And then I want since this is going to be kind of open, like right here, therefore we want this, sort of the hand, and then come down like this. And I'm thinking that, okay, be careful, by at least getting some shadow in there is better than than nothing. <sighs> and the wrist, I want to get in here and get the, well, I'm here. A little more of the wrist. So there's kind of basically the hand. I'm sure there's a lot of little pickings to do, but it's easier to pick when you got at this level. Oh, where's my cat toy? I mean, uh, brush. And 
going to be a lot of cleaning up here. Boy, she's got a lot of razzles in there. All right, I am going to take another swizzle of the water, and then we'll try the other hand. So I'm thinking, see, he's, her hand is more flatter against, where this one's going to have, I'm going to use, try to use that curl, that curl a little bit. Let's take the thumb, or bring the thumb out, not take it out. And be careful when it comes to Especially when we talk, we're going to talk about the faces. Don't be pulling. So in other words, don't, if it's loose like that and hanging on, don't grab a hold of it. Especially when you get down to the lips. Holy smokes, don't be grabbing a hold of that. If it's held on to. I'm going to take a little more off. And again, I want to get that thumb in. Get the thumb in so we can get the other fingers in. And it just may be round this up. Watch the green. And again, like I said, the thumb is going to be a little farther down. It kind of comes naturally on this one, where the thumb is farther down. Plus, we're going to put this extra little twist in it. Take this off. And get that wrist in there. There we're getting. Again, it gets to a point where you can do all kinds of adjusting after as long as you got the major elements off there. Oops, they got a little too deep there. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, the thumb is in. Like I said, usually if you go in the middle, you know, do I have all of the fur off, off there? I don't think so. Gotta go rounding that a little bit. Like I said, if, if this, if the wood is correct, this one here, we maybe had to bend it a little bit. This uh, by nature. I mean, if you get the, the ruler on and everything, I think it twists. But this is the line we're doing, and it's more relaxed. It's more like that's where the middle finger would be, but I think we could still cheat a little bit here. Okay, start with the middle. Ow! Oh, she's got a hold of my hand there with her claws. Yeah, we should have declawed you when we could. That's what we should have done. Okay, again, 10% one way. Ten, or 10, 10 degree angle, pardon me. 
No, she's playing with the chisel. You better be careful there, you know. Hurt yourself, but I think she's on the handle end of it. Oops. So that's what I did. I kind of rounded it a little bit. Pinky, remember Pinky is farther down. Bend. Ring finger. Kind of. I think we need to bend it some more. Yeah, we need to get into there more. Take the tip off. Sharper than the utter. Round this a little more. That comes down a little more. And now we're into the adjusting knuckle, knuckle. Just a scoop, knuckle, knuckle, knuckle. I didn't do that to the pinky and the other one. See how it's forming this knuckle. I got this one here. I gotta come back, may have to do some more on the knuckles. Mm. I think I'm losing the tip, the sharpness of the tip. Sharpness of the tip is being left. There's a little more twist this way, yet this way. Okay, now what we're going to do is I need a tiny number nine. That's about three, and I'm going to go oh, just a little bit. And there's still much more adjusting. Right now, as long as the, the hand is there and at least somewhat doing what it's supposed to do, So on the first time, now we gotta get over here, do the same thing. Let's pencil this in first. Oh, let's complete this here. in there it gives that extra yeah there is still yes yeah, because I think I'm losing the the sharpness on the tip and I I'll come back to that a little later, but I thought this would be a good time to leave that and get back to the hair. I need to get back to the <sighs> hair a little more. And like I said, you can always do adjustments. We'll do adjustments later. 
And I like to put my other glove on and let's start with, where is he? My number, my number 11, um, about 10 mil. Let's start getting some. Some twists and turns because she's not particularly combed out here. But I don't think I want her to be too frizzy. Too frizzy either. It depends on how how deep you want to do the hair. I want to twist right here because it's supposed to come round. And I'm not going to make this too it's a realistic I don't know I might get into that I take the knife to it if you want to do some I think I'll probably do that a little later and get some nice divisions in and again smooth is is important I'm gonna get a little more divot here I'm on the top of the head so I'm Getting away from the camera here. Okay, before I come in the front, I want to do this. And still taking off, we're still taking off some, some marks of the, from the, uh, the drill bit to the bit there. It's not a drill bit. Now I want to get into here. And unfortunately, the cat is there. Well, unfortunately for her, pretty much the bottom is going to be whacking her head. But that's her problem. Now I don't get too fancy getting close to the face because after the face is done, then I'll redo some of the markings after after the face is done close to the face some hair markings now let's see where's my picture what did I do and the cat is sitting on some of the pictures here let's see what she's got here she's got this curl going up See how we can imitate that. It comes around here. I'm just taking wood off here. So it's got to come back. It's got to come up and around. And again, I'll, I think I'll shape when I've shaped the head a little better. That'll come out better. Okay, and then I want to leave with my with my V tool right here. And just really bang it up some more here. <coughs> and try to go Try not to follow the same track to make it more frizzy. But we still want this to turn a little bit here. There we get. 
There we go. With a few of them here on the bottom. A few. to help this with that picture to do with that. So I think yeah I'll have to wait till the face before I can fix that. I'll have to wait. This is gonna more like Yeah, I'm just going to fix it later after the face is done. And I think Oops. So I think that's as far as I'm going to do on the hair. Now you could, if you want to, let's, let's try a few, just separate, do a little bit of separation here, you know, your 10 or 20 degrees, and then you come back. See, that adds a little extra. I'm going to do a little bit of undercut in here. There. Get some depth in there too. There we go. We're kind of done with the hair. I could widen this a little bit, bit more. Okay, we're going to leave that later. We'll do the face now. Last on the cleanup. Oh yeah, I'd like to do because I do on now before I do that I'll, I'm going to finish the figures the figurine here and I, I think I'll still leave that but there we are thus far I'm going to take a little break and probably give the cat a little come on well I guess that's as far as that will open up and give the uh, cat a little extra treat. Oops, I said the treat word. Ethel. Did I say the treat word? Did you want a treat? Is it treat time? Is that what you want? Your treat? Oh, yep. Bird says that it's kiki treat time. Says it's key treat time. I'm gonna go get a treat. <laughs> she falls for it every time. Okay, we're gonna continue on with. Let me twist this this way. Peace. Okay. Now I'm going to move on to the top part right here. And I'm trying to get where that this the center line is. Where's the where is the shoulders? 
come together here. <coughs> here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, hello, we're back, and I am going to start doing the, the top part here, and where the shoulders are is this line here. It's kind of, excuse me, a uh, a bow, kind of a tilted or semicircle. That is the deepest part of this area here. Closer. And what's going to happen is that oh, we got the hair doesn't show it as it should, but it comes up. This hair is going to come up like this, and it comes like this. Somewhere about here, right about where the shoulder is. And there's the neck. So here, this is the deepest, deepest part. We go down, and it comes back. <coughs> A little bit of dust in my, in my throat there, so I'll just keep carving while it <coughs> works its way out. I'm going to go a little deeper here. A little deeper here. A little deeper here. Now, hair's in the way there. Let's put a little grease in here that separates the hair. The hair in the top part of the for clothing. Is that a little better? And we'll have to straighten that out a little later. Let's start doing the adjustments. Knife. Now we want to bow this a little bit here. Let's do a little bit of a knife is starting to get a little kind of punky here. Okay, let me cut a little bit of this, get some of that. I want this to bow a little bit. Okay, do a little bit of rounding, and rounding, and then it's a little bit of a scoop here. Quite a bit of a scoop. <laughs> now what I did here, I'm going to bring this back just a little bit, just a little bit. And start the rounding process. Let me clean this up a little bit. Okay, let me see if other tools will work out here. This is again my number five. Put it upside down, but I don't want to bury. Be careful I don't bury the uh, the sides. 
and I still want to keep this sharp in here. And smooth and un un unstop. Because each and every time you uh, stop it, it makes the, those little marks that, like I said, it's okay on Santa's, but it's not okay on the ladies here. I can't get in there. Just smooth this out a bit. Now I want this to come around. See, as it's coming to a bottom here, I want it to come to a V here and a V here. Still keep adjusting. And this comes up. Okay, we don't we don't bury the tip. And there's a bit of a scoop there. Now Again, adjustments later. Oh, I didn't get in this way yet. Around this bottom here yet. The bottom there. So just a bit in there. Well, this kind of rounds a little bit. There. Still rounding. Now we're going to get into the head and neck. I'm going to take some of this to clean this off a little bit and move it. As we do a little bit of turning around the neck, turning around the neck, turn. Don't break the tip of your knife, just enough to turn the tip a little bit. Where is my little, let's see if this stocker, I'll take some of that out of there. That did, that did. Just want to get kind of deep in there. Excuse me. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to do a turn around the neck. Turn around the neck and it'll come down like this. And this is just getting started on the neck because it's going to be... Um, more thinner than that. So I'm going to leave as much hair as I can here.
so far. A little jagged. Okay. Continuing on. Oh, one second. Okay. Smoothing this out. Come in quite a bit, quite a bit more on this. One more extra scoop. Now remember this comes comes back and then down back then down <sighs> let's make this a little more sharper here for the jawline <sighs> Alright. Alright, I suppose we can get going on the face. Still a little. I'll have to do adjustments later. I just want to get that look like she was like a frog or something. Yeah, we'll just have to get it later. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Where's my pencil? We're going to come in here. Whoops, center line. Now she is not really looking away because um, I didn't have her look away. Have her look straight ahead like she sees something off in the distance there. Okay, so if we were to take a V-tool, here just to show a little bit here, just to get this, the head started. Now I'm not going to use the the measuring tool too much on the on this anymore. Like I said, this is more of a realistic head and this one's more of a caricature so i'm not going to compare the two 
because they are going to be different. Hopefully. Then I want to bring this around. Get in there a little bit. I'll come back to that later. Now, let's get to the face. Well, let's get to where am I going to sit. Because if I were to zoom in on this a little more, let's get the eyes in. No, let's get the nose. Now, one of the things that you got to look at at a rough out nose is the nostril is, is right here. Not right there, because if you cut, start cutting on the top, that's going to be a tiny nose. And the eye is going to be somewhere around here, because there's a bridge of the nose. Like that. Okay, I want to commit to the nose. Bottom, gonna go straight down. And this is just a nice I want to try to create a barrel here for the lips. So I'm gonna make that a sharp. Okay, then Like that. Profile, don't worry, because we're going to be taking a lot more wood off. A lot more wood off. And I want this to come in like that. I just want to save that. Okay, now I want to take only a little bit of the saw marks off around here. Around the, around the cheeks. I want to make sure I want to take some of that off. I want to make sure we have a nice cone started here. Okay, well, let's get this out of there. I think that's been in there for a while. I thought that was out. Now, what we want to do is... we got too much nose. I know the bridge is like about here. So we've got a little too much of this going on. I'm going to come up a little bit like this. A little bit like this. A little bit where the cheek's going to be, just a little bit. Just so we get our bearings. This is my number 11 5 mil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and get to, to the eye socket or the eye uh, bridge of the nose. And a little right here.
Now we may need to go a little deeper. I'm pretty sure we do. I'm going to try it again. A little deeper. A little deeper around this way. Go back around this way. Same over here. Take a little bit of that nostril to go in. Oops. I hit some of that forehead, got a little knocked off. I think we're still okay. And come back this way. I think that needs to go a little deeper. Deep. Burr. I think we're starting in. I'm going to take the knife and kind of just smooth things a little bit. Oh, where are you? Jeez, it just, I can't get it, keep it in the freaking camera. I just was just cleaning things up a little bit here. Starting in with the hair separated from the chin. I'm going to do the same on this side. about to meet the other side. All right. Profile again. Oops, we need to dig deeper here. And that's one thing about the face, it just, there's no, you know, cut here, cut there, and you're done. This is a lot of adjusting and coming back and is because of what you had before is if you the understanding of what comes next <sighs> I'm gonna take my dark card now that's a <coughs> number nine about two three mil four mil millimeter and yeah it's perfect for this size face there we go here here, there, getting there. Now I'm going to do this little triangle right here for the, just to figure the nose. <laughs> because this is kind of a big nose, she'll be getting rid of some of it. So I'm going to move it to just a Run a little bit to tell us how much more we need to take. I'm 
Okay, next is we want <clears throat> to create, I'll get back to the eyeballs later and shaping later and all that, but before I do, this is going to bother me, so I'm going to make sure they look kind of the same. Where is my, will this work? Oh, no, up, 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 up. don't be doing this again. The smile line is here and here. And I want something more shallower. This is the number nine. up like that up like like this and then it's down oops you want it smooth I had it it was not very smooth. <sighs> now I saw this. Someone else did the thing that Pat Moore that did this. Put the chin in first. So I'm going to try that. Chin in first and the, the mouth is going to be about here. And of course from here, here from the eyeball to the eyeball. And I'm going to take my little, now it could be the duck here, it might be a little too big for this. But I want my, there it is, nine, probably number two. I'm going to try that. All right, now I want to <coughs> take just a little in the profile here. Just a little bit of this back. Now, another thing is that to create that barrel, we're going to do this, this, this. that chip out of there. This, 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 chip out of there, round it just a little bit. This one needs to be just a little wider. Okay. I think that mark might be just a little too, too low. Maybe. And we'll take our V. Where'd that V go? 
would be B Togo here and this is going to come straight across that got a little crooked Profile says we're still doing okay. Now I want to do just a little bit of. I got my fingernail on the hair, so if it digs in there. And taking out this little. Okay. Now here comes the fun part, is that, get out of there. This scoops to here. Oops, I did the flinging and I shouldn't. This does a scoop to here. Now we're getting somewhere. Now the bottom of the lip is going to be coming out. And it has to be below. Now this one's got this little thing here and here. Here, here to here, to here. Now it's getting there. Um, I want my little tool here to get under the lip. And then I want it to And again, this time I'm showing you, not telling you, you bring that up like that. And you bring it up. Take some of the sharpness out of there. A little scoop here, a little scoop there, and we're getting there. much here I want to smooth this out. Cheek out, there we go. And I want to smooth this cheek out. Profile says not so bad. Now the nose is a little pug. I'll bring it up a little bit. I may have bring it down a little bit, but I don't want to. There's the nostril. Nostril. Yeah. 
Okay, now swing this up just a little bit. Swing this up just a little bit. And I want to get the eyes in. I think the mouth is pretty good with the exception of whatever I want to do. I want to take this this part off. This is the 190 degree. See, look how nice that looks even better. Alright, that's what we got so far. Oops. Get that out of there. Okay. Okay, now here comes the fun. Like I said, there's a lot of adjustments here and there. I'm going to put this in so you got the cheek. Same with this side. And hopefully with the eye in, it will look more dimple on her. Okay, here we go with the eyes. But before I do it, so on this end. And this is more rounded. Like I said, I'll start this adjustments. <clears throat> I just want the eye before I get the eye. Yeah, and I need to give a little. Oh, while I'm down here, I need to pick it this way. Yeah, pick that up, put that there. Okay, here we go with. Now I'm gonna have to look through my visor here, so it's I'm not a visor, but. Or if I take it away a little bit, I gotta eye it in. Oops, slip the tool. And I'm gonna go inside, inside. Now let's measure that. Where is my, here it is. Yes, it is. If I go like this, then I gotta go here to here's an eye. Here to here to here's an get out of there. Here to here is an eye. Now her eye is it's one of these eyes. Oh, I didn't do marking. I didn't do, I didn't do much marking very well. Now this is an eye in which. It's going to be wide open, relatively wide open, but what's going to happen is it's going to end on top and it's going to end below. It's below, so it'll come up on top. Same here. It's below, it comes above. No, not too sharp. I don't want too sharp. Oh, 
Right there's the eye. The one on the left is kind of screwy, but oh, where's my? Where is my uh, detailing knife? Let's do a little bit of. Now this is just a little bit. I mean, just you're just barely touching. You're just barely breaking because instead you can and the, the outside is above and the inside is below <sighs> below and above Low and above. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to create these little chips. And in order to do that, I need to go straight down. Straight down here. Here, and I'm going to take them out. Sorry, they didn't want it to be too deep. Huh, you have trouble getting that one out of there. Now you take and you go up. And then we go down. That took kind of a while. It is kind of do hard doing this via the without the visor. I pretend to look at it at a distance. Right and now I'm gonna scoop this a little bit. I like get out of there. Let's 
Same width on this side. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of adjusting. I need to take this and go to the uh, magnifying glass and All right, other than adjustments, especially this eye here. So then it should be pretty decent. Okay. Take a very tiny V tool, very tiny, to do the eye just above the eye to do the eyelid. And it just, oh, and then uh, what we need to do is this, because this is really, I want to say fatty. That putting him in. Is that extra fat? That's the way you're pointing it. Yeah, I just, I just. Well, uh, that's the, the main face. We will adjust as we go along with the rest of picking out the pieces. Sucks in, sucks in the most, and then we got And then we gotta be careful with this up here. Okay, that's what I was going to work on. I get that little extra divot there. And with the now, this completes the major parts of it. I'm going to pick at it and show you what I come up with. 
Okay, we're back, and um, I did a lot of picking. And I, I didn't want to waste your time by doing too much picking. I just simply uh, did according to um, the dimensions. And if it's a little too, there's still a little lumber on there, uh, then I um, just simply shaped it to the to the diagram. And there she is there. Now what I want to do, first give you another last look. But I want to make it like she's on rocks. And right now it's just kind of a blob. So let's open this up a little more. And get to doing rocks and pencil this in. And I'll just go by about half, whoops, like about like this, and down here, up, around, down, disappear, come back this way, come close to the top, and this comes around down this comes around down here this comes up here and it's just i'm just making it's just all you know make it so it's not perpendicular not you know so i'm gonna take my v tool oh <sighs> Like I said, watch the hand. Take the knife or the pencil marks off. Now this, you don't have to be too smooth because this is a rock. Rocks are, are imperfect. Cut around. Better handle the tool. Let's go this way. Dig deep. Or not so deep because we're going to come back with a knife. Mm, get in there. Took a chunk off, that's all right though. All right, next is my heavier knife. Get a little deeper. I'll definitely want to watch the hand on this. Come back. Now we're only getting started because racks are going to be imperfect. And don't be too nice about taking that, that off, that uh, little cut mark cuts off. You don't have to be too, too gentle. start with make sure you get all the the V cuts out of there first the nice mechanical V cuts 
with imperfect knife cuts. Let's get this done first. Okay, now start looking at the rocks and usually at the corners don't meet, shouldn't meet. So either A, you want one to protrude and the other not. So I'm going to go in like this, round it. So he's in. And this may be sticking out, but I want it, I don't want it parallel, these two to be parallel. So I'll bring this in as well. And with that make this deeper. I want this in, and I want that out. I still want a little bit of that, and I want this more, I don't want it too even. See how it's starting to work? This rock, I don't want that to be perfect. There we go. Let's go over here, do the same thing. Let's have this in. This more rounded. Be careful when you get to the edge there, like that. Maybe I'll put a little more imperfection on the first cut. Maybe round this just a little bit. That less perfect, and this 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 is less perfect. Keep going around. Separate the rocks. Of course, good thing about that there is that's on the rocks. So I'm going to paint the rocks sort of a dark gray. A little bit of a light brown wash and then do a light brown, very light brown dry brush and then a green dry brush above that. Okay, again, this is in. I should have had it the other way around, but this is going to come like that. Some wear and tear from the dinosaurs walking. You could even way in there and get a good... You could even go way in and carve a little... Carve a little lizard or something sticking its head out. Do that too. Let's 
Anyway, with this, gotta be rounded a little bit. Now we're gonna do some more cleaning on this, but I'm gonna do a little indent here. So that's imperfect that way. But I'll have this, the top that's gonna to be Sticking in instead of out. Take this away. Okay. Let's make sure the shapes are not too terribly perfect. We can have a little bit of this removed. And if you want to get even deeper in some spots, yeah, there should be even deeper here. Get way deep. Some nice shadowing. Yeah, I want this to be more rounded because it's been rained upon. And let's get, like I said, you can have something like this really deep here and have a lizard's head sticking out. See which way am I going here? Oh, I got on the wrong rock. That's why I lost, lost it. And this could be even deeper in. So just as long as it's imperfect here and there. Now we're gonna to go to the next level of imperfection and now let me use my let's see if this will work and just put some nice here and there dense see that Now this one's only a two, number two, again. All right, let's, let's go a little deeper then with a number nine. Where is my nine? About 10. About 10, where is he? There he is. And let's start from the back. If we're going to practice on something. Because if it ain't what we want. Get some good twists in there. And you're going smaller and smaller. I can probably stop right here. We could, but I'm going to do a little more. This is what I do with my chim chimney. Santa's coming out of the chimney. I'm going back. It's just to take the, the blade and just putting dings on it. It's not that smooth. These rocks shouldn't be maybe up on top. Usually just a little dense like this. Twist dense. Now we're making it imperfect. Yeah, that's kind of flat. We gotta take the flatness out of that. 
I'm not doing as much. I should be doing more twisting. See how that it's a little really imperfect. Just by doing a little of this and a little of that. A little twist here. Oops. But that's basically as far as I want to go with the rock, other than there's a lot of cleaning up. All I did in cleaning up, I just simply took the boogers out and make sure there's some nice shadowing between pieces. here a little twist to it <sighs> clean out these deep spots especially if you're gonna put a lizard head in there or something dark with it with a couple eyeballs oh, that's really gonna not good here That's basically what I did when I cleaned up and things that weren't right with the arms and usually the arms and the hands and the legs are just a little thicker than they should be. Oops. Got too much of that off. But who cares? A little deeper here. Let's get some nice shadow going in there. This is no shadow and there's light directly on it, just extra sh shadowing. But that's where I'm going to stop, right there. Let's take the brush to it. And then, then this is going to go to the cleaners. Uh, I've been using sort of like a uh, one of those green sponges, green with a little bit of scratchy on it. And I use the scratchy. So get in there to get these these final pieces parts but that's where I'm gonna stop I'm sure I can keep digging and picking but that's just it right there let's see that should be I'll do I'll do one of these let's see I think I could pick a little more in there here we go now the face is pretty good. I mean, the profile is pretty decent. The hair, what I did is I took uh, the knife and just put extra, extra creases in there. You just do one. You're just seeing, seeing what, I was, what I was doing with the rock. Instead of about a 10 or 20 degree one way and then 10 or 20 degree the other way. And it adds a little extra shadowing here and there. And there's the extra, see right there, just a, a nice extra shadow. Of course, the shadow goes away when there's light on it. And the back here. Now the back, I, I should, where is my, I think this might be too wide. And I hope that this one isn't too wide. This is here still. And I want to put just a little bit of a divot. Because that's where the, the back to the shoulder blade start to just want to start it just to start it and to show that 
we're consciously aware of it. I would like to go a little deeper. Yeah, see a little more picking at that. And the thing is too, is paint really does cover a lot of multitude of sins. It does. And especially when you uh, do a um, antiquing using a wax. I use Waco wax. And it covers a lot of even uh, paint uh, mistakes and carving mistakes. It covers a lot. And uh, And it's supposed to look good at about at about um, looks good at about five feet or something. But there she is. Ready to find those dinosaurs. Boots are still a little thick because I wanted it that way. That's a thicker base, and I think maybe I might come back and do a uh, oh, uh, cat just came and do some more of this. This fur. Really get this into the fur looking. I did do, I put an extra, some extra cuts down there. Let me cut this while we're at it. I was going to and then bring that up and then kind of make it dissipate. And to use the right one, yes, I suppose. So I'm thinking we're getting there. That depends on how, let's say, deep. Let's get a smaller chisel and get a deeper here and again. Let's see, what about that? So it's not this one. Where is the other one? Where is that? That's on the floor. No, not that one. Now that's too small. Well, this is too small. What we'll do? Let's go in the back. Huh. It adds to it. But I want the other one. Is it? This is a number nine. Putting the animal fur to it. Okay, that's about as all as much as I want to do. Do a little bit of end there. 
She's taking a bath. We're done. We be done. And there are the racks. Don't look at the racks. You can get deeper. Do however you want to do the racks. More, less. The eyes. Yeah, I noticed that the, the eyes got to be a little bigger and lopsided because while I was carving it, I was using my regular glasses and I didn't use my um, my skepticals. What do you call it? The visor. Okay, there she is. One million BC. <laughs>